here is a brief tutorial on how to put your model on spatial. Um, a number of you are having some trouble trying to downscale the model and to uh, import it onto spatial. Uh, so here's an example. Uh, so one student, he sent me his file and on the SketchUp, as you can see, it's uh, 11 megabytes. And his final, his final work, uh, when he exported it into FBX, is actually uh, 200, around 200 megabytes. So first of all, uh, we'll just open this file on SketchUp. So the model the student built are probably the planes, uh, the roof, and also uh, some walls. So these itself uh, isn't such a uh, big file uh, or big surface to complicate the surface for the file. So what that means is, is usually uh, uh, the 3D warehouse components. And where can you see that? So basically here uh, on your default tray, you can see there's a number of uh, different components such as a toilet and a diving board, dumbbell and tree. So it's possible these components are what's making the file extremely big. So I'll start by just deleting these trees because for these trees, you can actually add them after you import your uh, model. We can add them as another model instead. But you just really need the base. Just keep these ones, they're not that big. So I'll select the whole thing and I press H on my keyboard to hide. See here are the dumbbells. What I can do is actually click into that uh, file, uh, out, unhide, or just in case there are any hidden files, as you can see there are. So I'll select all and delete. So you can see on here the components have this entire uh, block has been deleted. And the other one I'll delete is probably the toilets. The less essential components could be all deleted. Okay, so you might think this is a really clear model. But the thing is, if you look at this, there's in this component, which is quite essential since there's uh, the stairs for one to sort of uh, move up from one floor to the other. But what might actually make this model really big is all these little parts and especially these curves. So when you export it into uh, some particular format, at times these curves they need to be split and need to be triangulated so they can have a curve and even actually on SketchUp here uh, it's triangulated. You can see it by these lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this lady here and I'm going to hide those elements that is essential. So I'm going to press H. So hide all this. And the railing. I'll hide the landings. So what's left is uh, the I-beams <coughs> and 
and also all these little delicate details, which is not necessary at this stage. And I'm going to hide everything else. So we are left with a very simple stairs. So at this stage, I'm going to unhide all the other elements as well. So before we save, oh, I'm going to delete this little person out here. We are going to model in full, stats, and purge all unused. So with this, it's going to clear up your model just in case there are any uh, components and tidy any other mess. So I'm going to save, save as house final two. So here we can see previously it was 11 megabytes and now it's only 3.4. So that's almost a third. So we can try to export this. But actually before we export, the file format, there are the two different ones. One is called uh, from where you can export. I'll show you here. Export free model. So there are two types that a spatial accepts if you directly export from uh, SketchUp. One is OBJ. For this, um, it is only the geometry of the model. So it does not have any texture. So we would not recommend you to use OBJ. And the other one is FBX. So if you export, it doesn't take too long. We'll look at the options. Uh, this should be all right. And actually, um, the YZ coordinate is a bit different and spatial, so you might need to take this. And export. So here's the export results. And when we head back to the folder, you can see the file that we have just completed. You can see the file we have just completed is 14 megabytes, whereas the previous one was 200 something megabytes. And we compared it to SketchUp. One is 11, and our newest one is 3.4. And as we just exported the house final two, you can see there's a separate folder with all the different textures as a JPEG. So we can export this, uh, we can import it in, into our spatial area. So we're just going to drag this file in.
here's the model. And as you can see, it is, you can kind of see the geometry. It looks correct, but all the textures and for some reason, all the slabs um, is broken. And so the main problem is with FBX, um, the textures are in a different folder. And usually you might probably need to import it, uh, the textures as well for it to link up. So in that case, um, the preferred method is actually not using FBX. So one way we head back to SketchUp, click into extension, uh, extension warehouse here. And there are two different formats. One is G, oh. LD. So here's a number of different extensions. So the one that I selected and installed is actually uh, GLFT export. And you can uh, install import as well uh, if you need to import. But for this case, uh, we're gonna, and after you uh, install and you log in, it's gonna appear here. And you can just uh, export as either one of these formats. So for here, I'm gonna export as GLB. So save. So it tells you after it's done. And we go back to the folder. It shows that it's a GLB. So if it doesn't, and it returns with only the house final two, as in the title of the file, sometimes you might need to double click here and um, edit the title and just add .glb. But in this case, it's done. We're gonna head back into spatial. We're gonna delete this corrupted file. So here you can see is a model with the actual texture. But of course you're gonna wonder, oh, why is it different from the SketchUp one? And basically uh, the materials uh, isn't rendered under a particular light setting. So you don't have any shadows and all the same material, all these are actually the balustrades, the transparent roof is all the same material. And so everything merges and that's a problem. But I'm just gonna show you how to actually change this into a one-to-one -one scale. It should be custom environment first. So here. It's on the plane, next. Starting from the ground here, we can actually wander around this model. I can use.
Let me jump up on every stairs. 